Government calls Theodore Van, Your Honor. Theodore Van, having been duly sworn, was examined and testified as follows. Sir, I'd ask you to lean forward and speak directly into the mic. You're soft-spoken. Please state your name for the jury. Theodore Van. How old are you, sir? Thirty-five. How far did you go in school? My GD. What city are you from? Portsmouth, Virginia. How long did you live there? My whole life. Do you have a criminal record, sir? Yes, sir. Can you tell the jury what does that include? Robbery, use of a firearm, trespassings, unlawful wounding, conspiracy to distribute heroin, and possession of firearms. What were you convicted of last? Conspiracy to distribute heroin and use of a firearm. Did you sign a plea agreement? Yes, sir. Explain to the jury, what are your responsibilities under that plea agreement? To cooperate with the government and tell the truth. What do you hope happens if you tell the truth, Mr. Van? That I get a sentence reduction. Who makes that decision? Judge and the government. And who is your judge? Judge Jackson. What happens to you if you don't tell the truth, sir? I get charged with obstruction. Have you ever been part of a gang? Yes, sir. How old were you when you were introduced to a gang? Fifteen, sixteen years old, sir. And what year were you fifteen, sixteen years old? 1999, sir. And what gang did you join? Nine Trade Gangsters. Okay, and what is the Nine Trade Gangsters a part of? The UBN, the United Blood Nation. During that time frame, how long did you stay in the Nine Trays? Like 15 years. And over that 15 year period that you were a part of the Nine Trays, did you have requirements to learn the history of the gang? Yes, sir. Did you have requirements to learn the structure of the gang? Yes, sir. How about the rules and regulations of the gang? Yes, sir. The punishments of the gang? Yes, sir. And if you didn't learn these things, what would happen to you? You would be punished. You would be violated. All right. How did the United Bloods Nation start? In 1993 on Rikers Island. And what was the purpose of it on Rikers Island? To fight oppression against the Latin Kings at that time. And who were the Latin Kings oppressing at that time? Blacks. And what happened when those prisoners who became United Blood Nation exited the prison system? They started spreading the UBN. All right. And who were the founders? O.G. Mack, Wayno, Deadeye, and Lacey Shockwell. Okay. Mr. Padilla, let's get the witness some water to see if he'll be a little more clear. All right. All right. So you've told us the purpose of the Nine Trade Gangsters and the UBN inside prison. What's the purpose of the Nine Trade Gangsters under UBN for the members who are outside of the prison? Build the UBN to breed in and bring people home to the UBN and build the nation. And did you say to breed and build the UBN? Yes, sir. So is one of the requirements as a Nine Trade member to make more Nine Trade members? Yes, sir. All right. And tell the jury, how did you become a member of the Nine Trays? I was jumped in. All right. Can you explain to the jury this concept of being jumped into a gang? And this was when you were 15? 
Yes, sir. Tell the jury. I got in a circle and five other bloods that was already blood members. We fought and they jumped me in for 31 seconds. All right. So you've described that there's five other blood members. Are you in the center of the five other blood members? Yes, sir. All right. And when you describe this process of being jumped in, what are those five other gang members doing? Punching me, kicking me, whatever. Okay. During that 31 seconds, you're being beaten up by these other people. What happens if you fall down? Then I would be beat out. I just turn to it. They would just beat me up then. Or they will start over, depending on how much they want me to be in the gang. When you were getting jumped in, did you fall down, Mr. Van? No, sir. So what did you become at the end of the jump-in process? Blood. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the ways that the Nine Trade Gangsters make money. How does the gang make money? They sell drugs. They rob. They do prostitution rings, whatever. All right, and who decides what projects you're going to work on as a lower level blood member? You're higher up, the people in charge of you. Okay, and how do you find out who your boss is in the UBN when you get into it? They tell you when they jump you in that this is the line you become under, like this is who you follow. All right, and let's talk a little bit about that concept of a line. What is a line? A line is the people in your chain of command, the people that you follow, the people above you that you follow. All right, and who is at the low end of the chain of the command? Foot soldiers. Foot soldiers. Is there anyone below a foot soldier? A drop, a blood drop, scrap. Okay, so let's start with that scrap term. Where does that come from, scrap? It come from, it's like a puppy. Like, first you just say, you my Scooby, but Scrappy-Doo is the baby puppy, baby dog. So you're telling us it's from the Scooby-Doo cartoon? It's Scrappy-Doo, a small dog? Yeah. Do the nine trays in the UBN identify with this dog pack structure? Yeah, like sort of speak. Okay, what do you have to do? So did you start out as a scrap? Yes, sir. All right. So tell the jury, how did you move up from scrap? By doing what the people above me asked me to do. Somebody get violated, I might be asked to do the punishment, the beating, the 31, or a robbery, or whatever they asked you to do, basically. All right, so let's start moving up the chain. Who is above scrap? Soldiers. All right, and who is above soldiers? Sergeants. Who is above the sergeants? Lieutenants. Who is above lieutenants? Captains. And who is above captains? The generals, the one star, two star, three star, four star, and the five. All right. Is the five star the highest in the organization? No, sir. What comes after a five star general? The OG. And what does OG stand for? Original Gangster. So it's the low original gangster? Yes, sir. All right. Is the low original gangster the top? No, sir. Who is above that person? The high OG. Again, original gangster? Yes, sir. All right. And anyone above the high original gangster? Godfather. Can that be shortened to GF at times? 
Yes, sir. Who is above Godfather? Nobody. All right. When you were in Nine Trey over this 15-year period, who was the Godfather? Magoo. Magoo.